Hello, welcome to another bike and another restoration. Very special one this one. This is a Kirk Precision built in the 1980s, designed by Frank Kirk, who was a Ford uh, car designer. And um, legend has it that he actually got the inspiration for the design of this frame from a Ford Sierra bumper, uh, believe it or not. Very, very beautiful, very futuristic looking bike. I can't believe it's from the 1980s. I think it was now 1987 it was actually produced. And what Kirk did boast was the fact that this bike was made out of magnesium, which was produced uh, one frame. It took one cubic meter of seawater to actually produce one of these frames. A huge amount of electricity, but one cubic meter of seawater which was completely recyclable. So yes, very forward thinking and uh, a lovely, lovely looking bike. Um, I even seen a video of this bike on a program called Tomorrow's World, which was back in the 80s, some of you may remember. And a car actually drove over one of these frames. It didn't do any damage at all to the frame itself. Um, so extremely stiff, which makes it a very good race bike basically. Um, the bike was raced, um, it was used by a guy called Phil Anderson and other members of the TVM team um, and also rode in the Pro Peloton and the Tour de France as well. Unfortunately the bike was only around for a few years though, the company was plagued with a lot of problems and even a huge fire at the factory which was created by the magnesium dust itself so it wasn't around for too long which makes this bike even rarer. Um, and also I read there was an urban myth somewhere that someone came off one of these bikes on British soil and basically created a few sparks off the road and ignited the frame. I don't know how true that is, um, maybe someone can shed some light and leave a comment below. Uh, but yes, unfortunately it wasn't around long enough uh, to carry carry on, but yes, I'm really really happy that I've gold of this bike. It's in really really good order, so what are we going to do with ours? Um, I've seen somewhere... Uh, an original poster which I want to try and copy and basically keep the feel of this bike how it, how it was in that poster. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to change the uh, saddle, change the seat post, uh, the handlebar tape we're going to change, the wheels are, are in really good order, I'm going to change the tyres as well we do, we'll put gun wall tyres on. Unfortunately though it doesn't have any decals, the frame's in lovely lovely condition but it doesn't have any decals so um, I'm going to have to locate them somewhere, um, so yes, I need to start researching and start looking at where we can get hold of them. But as we do, we always strip down the bike, I uh, don't know to what degree, we're going to take it back basically for a clean, but uh, as I say, it's in really, really good order, so let's get a move on with that, take it from there. Okay, well, there's the frame all stripped down. Uh, can't stop looking at it, to be honest with you. Uh, really, really loving the design of this. Um, I've left the bottom bracket in. To be honest, the bike seems as though it's been uh, recently rebuilt. Uh, I say the frame's in extremely good order. So I'm going to leave the bottom bracket in. It's the sealed bottom bracket. I'm going to leave these gear levers in as well because they look a bit complex. Everything that I need to get to is all here. So all I need to do now is just clean up a few of these bits, exchange a few, get by in a few things and try to find these decals. see with this we've completely rubbed the frame down uh, with a nice teacup just to get rid of any blemishes didn't really need it it's had a lovely spray job on the actual frame itself but I did mention we were missing the actual decals for the frame I've located and found a website called H Lloyd cycles I'll leave a link below if anyone does need any decals they do ship worldwide very very good service um, I did find them on there but they only had them in black and white I think so I emailed Steve uh, which is the guy who owns the site and very very 
good service, come back straight away and he's produced some red decals, original decals there to go back onto the bike itself so very very happy. As I say do ship worldwide so I'll put a link below with regards to uh, that site if anyone does need any decals then we can uh, get on that. Other than that let's get moving with these and get them back on the frame. with the project the rebuild the most exciting part of the project we've got all the parts all laid out on the side all nice and clean didn't take too much clean was a very clean bike to start with um, but what we've done we've changed the bar tape uh, we've got some nice red bar tape vintage bar tape um, to actually go with the original feel from that poster uh, that we've seen and I've also managed to get a hold of a nice vintage saddle with a fluted seat post. Um, got some nice red <coughs> toe straps just to finish that off um, and I've also managed to obtain a couple of red anodized bottle cages so it should look really well with the gum wall tyres it should take you straight back to the 80s so very very excited about this one. Uh, what I didn't mention as well was when I actually took the bike apart, because it is a very unusual frame, I was a bit unsure, there's no shame in this at all, it's just a bit of a tip. If you are unsure of anything, uh, we're in a modern world now, so just take a few pictures of uh, the actual cabling, um, just so you know exactly where the routing things and everything else. If you're unsure about anything, let's just take it apart, take a couple of pictures, just helps you put the bike back together. So there's a bit of a tip for you. Um, very, very excited. So. I cannot wait to get this one out and give it a good ride. So let's uh, get cracking and get this bike back together. Right, okay, brilliant. Well, there's the bike all back together. Looks absolutely amazing, I'm sure you'll agree. Really, really loving the lines on this, and I'm really happy that I've managed to get hold of them decals. So, yes, very, very happy. Um, yeah, it's just such a stunning bike. So, all that's left to do now, I'm very excited about this, is get it out and try it out. Well, this is the Kirk Precision. What a beautiful, iconic bike it is. Back from the 1980s, rides more like a modern day bike. And uh, yes, very cool, retro looking bike. Very, very happy that I've managed to get hold of one of these. I always wanted one, so I really don't know if I'm gonna sell this bike or not. Um, but yes, beautiful. Hasn't took much cleaning to bring back. And uh, yes, it's here for many years to come. And I'm sure uh, it'll bring a lot of pleasure. So yes, very happy that I've done it. If you do enjoy watching the videos, as I always say, then please subscribe. Other than that, drop us a like, and thanks for watching. Bye for now.